Scene 1. A Normal Day. It's a sunny morning in a small village nestled in the picturesque European countryside. As you wake up, the gentle rays of the sun filter through your modest thatched roof cottage, casting a warm glow on the simple furnishings that fill your home. Scene 2. Rumors and Fear. As you make your way to the market, there's a noticeable change in the atmosphere. People speak softly, and worried looks are exchanged between villagers. You overhear snippets of conversations mentioning a dangerous illness spreading rapidly across the land. The market, usually bustling with activity, feels somewhat subdued, reflecting the collective worry that has gripped the community. Scene 3. Face to face with the Black Death. As days turn into weeks, the full horror of the Black Death begins to unfold before your eyes. The once vibrant streets now bear witness to scenes of unimaginable devastation. Bodies lie scattered along the cobblestones, a haunting reminder of the lives lost to the merciless plague. The stench of death permeates the air, mingling with the palpable fear that hangs over the village like a dark cloud. The Black Death, also known as the Bubonic Plague, was caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis. It is estimated that the plague wiped out approximately one-third of Europe's population during the 14th century, with an estimated death toll of 75 to 200 million people. It is believed to have originated in Asia and spread to Europe through trade routes, particularly along the Silk Road. The disease was primarily transmitted through fleas that infested rats. As rats traveled aboard ships and across trade routes, they brought the infected fleas with them, leading to the rapid spread of the plague. It thrived in unsanitary conditions, and crowded cities were particularly vulnerable to its devastating effects. The disease progressed through several stages. In the initial stage, symptoms included painful, swollen lymph nodes called buboes, fever, chills, fatigue, and headaches. The buboes often appeared in the groin, armpit, or neck. If left untreated, the disease could progress to the septicemic and pneumonic stages, causing respiratory failure, bleeding under the skin, and in severe cases, death within days. The rapid onset and high mortality rate made the Black Death a terrifying and deadly threat. Amidst the chaos and despair, people tried various methods to protect themselves from the disease. One common belief was that the plague spread through miasma, or foul-smelling air. To protect themselves from this miasma, people took precautions such as wearing aromatic herbs and spices, which they believed would purify the air and ward off the disease. Plague doctors, recognizable by their distinctive bird-like masks filled with aromatic substances, roamed the streets, attending to the sick and offering advice on preventive measures. These masks were intended to filter the air and provide some level of protection. However, despite these efforts, the true nature of the disease and its transmission mechanisms were not fully understood at the time. The lack of knowledge about bacteria and the role of fleas and rats in spreading the plague hindered the effectiveness of preventive measures. Quarantine measures were also implemented, with infected individuals and their families isolated from the rest of the community in an attempt to contain the spread of the disease. Medical treatments for the plague were limited during that era. Some remedies included bloodletting, where a person's veins were opened to release bad humors believed to cause the illness. Others resorted to herbal remedies and poultices, hoping to alleviate symptoms and promote healing. However, these treatments had little scientific basis and offered little more than temporary relief. The years during which the Black Death ravaged Europe were primarily from 1347 to 1351, although subsequent outbreaks occurred for several centuries. The plague's impact was felt across all levels of society, from the nobility to the peasantry, leaving a lasting mark on European history. Scene 4. Precautions and Recovery Determined to protect your family, you take immediate action. With a sense of urgency, you gather essential supplies and fortify the defenses of your humble abode. Barriers are erected, windows are sealed shut, and doors are reinforced. Every precaution is taken to minimize contact with potential carriers of the disease. It becomes a routine, checking and rechecking, ensuring that your family remains safe within the confines of your home. As the days turn into weeks and the weeks into months, the weight of isolation presses heavily upon you. The once bustling village streets now stand empty and devoid of life. The laughter of children playing and the chatter of neighbors sharing stories are distant memories. The silence is deafening, broken only by the occasional toll of funeral bells. As you witness families torn apart, 
and communities shattered by the relentless grip of the Black Death. Amidst the despair, acts of courage and compassion emerge. Volunteers, known as plague barriers, risk their own lives to dispose of the deceased, providing a semblance of dignity in the face of overwhelming tragedy. Their tireless efforts offer a glimmer of hope amidst the darkness, reminding you that even in the darkest of times, humanity's resilience and compassion can shine through. As the years pass, a glimmer of hope emerges. Signs of recovery begin to manifest in your village. People cautiously emerge from their self-imposed isolation, stepping back into the sunlight as they tentatively rebuild their lives. The once deserted streets slowly come alive again as merchants return to their stalls and laughter starts to fill the air once more. The Black Death, with its staggering death toll and devastating consequences, has forever changed the course of history. It serves as a somber reminder of the fragility of human existence and the importance of valuing and protecting life. The lessons learned from the Black Death shaped the future in many ways. The immense loss of life led to societal and economic transformations. Labor shortages created opportunities for peasants to demand better conditions, leading to the eventual decline of feudalism. The reduced population also sparked advancements in technology and agriculture to meet the changing needs of society. As you stand on the precipice of a new era, you carry with you the memories of the Black Death, a reminder of the fragility of life and the capacity of humanity to endure. The scars run deep, but they serve as a testament to your strength and resilience. And as the world begins to heal, you step forward, determined to forge a future filled with hope, compassion, and the lessons learned from the darkest of days. And that concludes our journey through the Black Death Plague. We hope this immersive experience helps you appreciate the strength and fortitude of those who lived through such challenging times. Remember to cherish the present and support one another. Until next time.